The first committee is going to be a general contractor committee. And the goal of that committee is to develop a small business to become a general contractor that can bid on some of these projects that we uh, are actually working with general contractors now. So can I get a raise of hands of, of small businesses that would like to participate in the general contractor development committee? So be before I raise my hand, I guess sure. I'd like to know what the other opportunities are so I don't put myself into too many areas at one time. OK, well, there's five committees so far. So I'll go through them, and then I'll come back. I'll come back. The, oh, she's going to put it up on the screen, because look. She's male. <laughs> OK. The second committee is a community collective committee. And that's a committee that's really designed to outreach with other uh, small business, business development membership organizations. One would be ABC, Association of Washington Business, NAMC, AGC, um, Black Builders. Um, the uh, Hispanic uh, Chamber of Commerce, African uh, Chamber of Commerce, and other small business and multicultural organizations that really serve small business. The focus, again, is small business. So we're trying to find like-minded organizations that can provide valuable information that can benefit our membership. So that second committee is called the Community Collective. Many of you are actually participating in that and don't even know it. <laughs> you, you, you share stuff that's going on in your organization and you see it end up on EIW. So <laughs> whether you like it or not, you're participating. <laughs> the third committee is business development. And that committee is really focused on taking businesses to the next level, preparing your business to do work with the government or to, to take your business to the next level doing business with government and private corporations. The hope is that we'll be able to help drive revenue for your collective businesses. So I'm assuming that most of you are interested in driving revenue for your growth or for your collective businesses, as well as developing tools that will help your profitability. The fourth committee is the Government Affairs Committee. And that committee is really focused on, and because we're a 501c3, our position really is on education and information exchange. We can't get really political. However, there's some legislation and there are some uh, initiatives that we need to know about. And we need to know about what the, the pros and cons that are being communicated. Um, and the final committee is professional development. And in that committee, we are in the process of developing a curriculum. We wanted to, before we finished developing the curriculum, we wanted to confirm that it was a, a class that would be worthy of our initial training. Um, so the first class, we were planning on designing a three-part estimating and bid preparation uh, curriculum, a three-part series. However, it was brought to my attention that they may want to uh, consider another uh, class to start. And it was brought up in the board that certifications may be one uh, subject that would be valuable to our members. Um, so out of those two classes, I'd like to get a raise of hands who would be interested in the estimating and bid preparation uh, uh, three-part series. Let me ask you, how often do they do this? The three-part series. No, all of them. Each, they all do like once a month? One, they, they're, well, actually, what I, my hope was today was to establish a group that wanted to participate in that. And then we would establish a leadership structure within each one of those groups. And they would determine how often they would meet. And there is no requirement that we have to have face-to-face. -face. We're in a technology age. We can share information via the web, email, and phone conversations. I prefer to meet face-to-face, -face, but sometimes we're really busy, so we can continue to move forward. So the estimating class is outside of the committee that's developed by the Professional Development Committee, but it is going to be a separate class. And it's um, not everyone's going to be involved in construction estimating. So my guess is some folks that are in the service industry may not necessarily be interested. They may be interested uh, just for information gathering purposes. But my hope was that we would have five to ten firms that were interested in participating 
um, in the estimating piece. And one of the first things we were going to do in the estimating class was do a debrief of a project that some of our members here, actually four members here, actually bid uh, to one of the contractors. And what we wanted to do was kind of do a debrief to examine uh, the scope of work and the estimates that were provided by the small business members as well as some of the, the other members that, or the other businesses that were successful in that project and kind of do a lessons learned so we have a better idea of how the general was looking at the, the, uh, the project as well as having the architect provide value input as well. So we're going to have a three-part series which will involve the architect and the contractor for a specific project and the next two parts will be identifying a project that will be relevant to a current project that my hope is that our small business uh, members will be able to pursue and secure. So that's what the goal is um, and we want to be able to develop the curriculum before the end of the year. My hope was that by the first of the year we'd be able to initiate that class. Um, I will send information on it. I've already had four, uh, four firms that have expressed interest in participating in it. My guess is there's probably some more here. I'm going to ask folks to actually raise their hands so I know who they are here presently so I can add them to the list. So I'm going to start from the, the beginning. I mentioned five committees. A general contractor development. If you are a general contractor and would like to do work with the government, you would like to do more work with the government, or you would like to do work with agencies or customers that you have not done work before and are having challenges getting with, raise your hand. Okay. The community collective, I'm not going to ask for uh, volunteers for that one because I'm picking your brains. So <laughs> you don't have to volunteer for that one. However, the business development one is really important. So, all right, so I already got a, a few hands. Anyone else want to participate in the business development? This is really going to be sales-driven, driving revenue to your organizations, okay? 